Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo crisis, a danger to peaceful election at Siku. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. A very, very big thank you to every one of you who have been supporting us. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, please don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate you. Thank you. Well, uh, the issues of Edo, Eundo elections are no longer restrained. We're no longer strangers to all that has been going on. In the last 48 hours alone, a lot has happened. And guess what? Apple Line Media will keep you up to date. Yes, up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria, especially with the elections at hand. This is the bone of the cross. A lot of issues are on ground. Just yesterday, we got a, a report that um, the Deputy Speaker of the House of uh, uh, House of Assembly in Edo State was impeached and immediately uh, Honorable Roland was installed. Hmm. As if that was not enough, we heard a rumor, an alleged, that's the right word to say, in um, in uh, uh, when we are talking about uh, um, journalism, yes, the, we got an alleged information that Imo State Governor Hopo Zedema was planning uh, him and some other people to come and take over the House of uh, uh, Assembly in Edo State. I don't understand how these things are happening. How can you all the way from the East come into the South? I don't get it. But anyway, it's happening. No real life day, lobby, day, day uh, light robbery. You are seeing them, they are seeing you, and there is no fear. It's not like in time past. This is a new age. Anyway, before you could say Jack Robinson, boom, we woke up this morning to see that there were already policemen heavily armed all around the House of Assembly. Whoa, what is going on? Nobody could go in, nobody could come out. Of course, nobody was eh, eh, nobody was in, nobody could go in. And so everybody stood and was watching. Before we knew it, some men came, started to came, taking off the roof. We heard that the maniki was about to be stolen. And you know the whole drama with the whole maniki, starting from the very top, the national level, talking about the arms of legislation where manikis are being run away with. Well, before we knew it, they said, yes, that people, uh, carpenters came and started taking off the roof. And before you know it, truckloads of sand and uh, gravel was coming in, heaping down to come into uh, the house. They said, guess what? Renovation was going on. But Atiku, a former the, the presidential candidate of People Democratic Party, a PDP person who is supporting one of the governorship candidates, the incumbent governor, talking about Governor Gordon Obaseki, under the people, under the People Democratic Party is giving is issuing an, a warning, not only to those participating and in a do state to the nation, to President Muhammad Buhari and to this administration, that there is a danger uh, ahead with all that is going on. Let's get on to the news and get all the details. A do crisis, a danger a, to peaceful election. Atiku, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar says the crisis in a do state caused by the force between Governor Gordon Obaseki and his predecessor, God Adams Ushomole, posed a threat to the next month's governorship election in the state. Atiku, who was the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the last election, said this via his Facebook post today. The force between Oshomole and Obaseki reached a mass climate on Thursday when the closure of the Edo House of Assembly happened. The former vice president, however, asked the warning warning the parties to shed and to shield their sword and to let the people of Edo State finally please decide who they want to govern them. It is not a do or die affair matter. Atiku wrote, what is happening in Edo State is a threat to constitutional order nationwide and I strongly urge that forces be waged and be put in place to make sure that we do not allow people to lose their life all because of election. The rule of law must be obeyed. Where there is no law, there is no order. The current going on portals grave danger not only to law and order in the state but also to the forthcoming election and to the people of Edo State. The people of Edo State should be allowed to choose 
who they wishes to govern them. And that choice is to be made on September the 19th, 2020. Pending then, everything legally possible must be done to preserve the status quo. The House of Assembly was shot on Thursday. Armed men reportedly stood at the gate and the lawmakers, lawyer to Shomole, were placing we're planning to impeach the leadership of the house and subsequently, subsequently the removal of Governor God Obaseki, the incumbent governor. Some men were, were seen carrying out renovation work and nobody knows exactly who has sent them to carry refurbishment on the house. A lot is going on in Edo State and the president and leadership needs to intervene and intervene immediately. Well, Nigerians, this is real life. This is real life happening in Edo State here with Shomole, who is an adbusted, uh, you know, a sacked APC uh, national uh, chairman has come to Edo State to continue with the crisis he started in uh, APC. This crisis was so much that the president of the country cleverly let him go. You see, it was the president of the country, the person who he converged for vote for was the person who moved the motion for Oshomoles, uh, what's it called, NWC to be dissolved. What does that tell you? Nigerians watch. Now this man is back in Edo State and look at what is happening. It is not a crime or a problem at all for him to support any candidate. He has the 200% to support his candidate, but not to cause trouble to the state or anybody at large. What is happening in Edo State needs to be cautioned, needs to be watched, and the president needs to intervene. You cannot keep quiet because the person is in your party. This is illegal to law and order in the country. Nigerians, we must rise up to evil that is perpetrating in our nation. We must say no to indecency. We must say no to anti-progress of our nation. Well, the government needs to get up. They need to rise up. Buhari especially must be very careful. This is a very slippery slope and the world is watching. Whatever decision you make today, the world is watching. Remember that the U.S. has already tagged, tagged Nigeria, a country that is not abiding by law, a country not governed by rules and law. And since Omoya Lesho Wares case, they've been trying to abide by law. And these things should be something that should be part and parcel of our legal process. Yes, but but how can somebody just wake up in the morning, come and shut the House of Assembly and try to take away the maniki? Things are going on. And a dual state is a true determinant of our democracy. And as such, every leader must rise up because if you don't rise up today, you are not leaving a good legacy. And you guess what? Your days, well, days in office, people will look at it and say you never did anything for the people. We want to say to every well-meaning Nigerians, it's time to speak up. You don't need to be from a do state to know the right thing to do. You must speak up against injustice. You must speak up against immoral going on in our country. For silence, they say, is an approver for for consent to what you believe. If you don't believe in the idea, you don't, you don't accept this ideology, you must speak up against what is going on right now for we must crave and we must put together way for better Nigeria for our children. What we are doing today will determine if Nigeria will truly be de developed. We cannot sit on the sideline. Atiku Abubakar has raised his voice. We must stand on the side to give the solidarity cry and we must all come together and say no to nonsense going on with our democracy anyway people what do you think it is time for us to rise up to truth it is time for us to rise up to what we believe so that we can defend our father's land the choice is yours the choice is yours. the ball is in your court choose what is right and let your voice be heard leave a comment god bless you have a fantastic day bye for now